Motorsport TV Live, brought to you by Motorsport Tickets, the dedicated motorsport experiences provider. Hello and welcome to Motorsport TV Live with me, Bryn Lucas, bringing you all the latest stories from around the world of motorsport. Le Mans winner Kazuka Nakajima announces he's leaving WEC. McLaren reveal their first ever female factory driver. And in NASCAR, the fallout of Bowman and Hamlin rumbles on. All those stories and more coming up here on Motorsport TV Live. Kazuka Nakajima will leave Toyota's World Endurance Championship team after this weekend's series finale in Bahrain. During his nine years there, he's won the Le Mans 24 hours three times and took the WEC title in 2018-19 alongside Fernando Alonso and Sebastian Buemi. Rio Hirakawa looks set to take Nakajima's place in the two-car squad of GR010 hybrid Le Mans hypercars, but this is still to be made official. Nakajima said it has been an honour to compete for Toyota Racing, Gazoo Racing for nine seasons and I feel so lucky to have won races, championships and the Le Mans 24 hours alongside so many talented, passionate and dedicated colleagues. In total, he's made 58 starts in the WEC for Toyota, winning 16 of them. Nakajima now looks set for a twin programme in Japan comprising both Super Formula and Super GT in 2022. Alpine and the Signatech team are looking certain to race on the FAA World Endurance Championship next season with their LMP1 Orica after Signatech boss Philippe Sonneau reiterated an intent to continue in the hypercar class in 2022 with the Gibson engine P1 design that now races with Alpine A480 badges. His assertion follows the confirmation of the extension of the so-called grandfathering of LMP1 cars at last month's World Motor Sports Council into the 2022 season, as well as news that Alpine will develop an LMDH for the WEC in conjunction with French constructor Orica for 2024. Sinel has stressed that he couldn't confirm the programme until Alpine's entry had been accepted with the closing date for 2022 registrations coming in January. An intent to continue with its current driver lineup of Nicolas Lapierre, Matteo Vaxavier, and Andre Negreo was also outlined by Sinel. McLaren have signed Emma Gilmore for their maiden Extreme East season for its debut in the electric SUV off-road racing series in 2022, making it the 10th team on the grid. Gilmore has already taken part in two Extreme events, having stepped up as a replacement for Jamie Chadwick, becoming the first female factory driver in the outfit's near 60-year history. McLaren Racing CEO Zach Brown said she is a race winner and has proven herself this year in Extreme alongside a vast background of competitive off-roading in multiple racing series across the globe. While Gilmore has expressed her excitement at being involved in a full season of Extreme E with a team calling it a special opportunity. McLaren also revealed its new livery which keeps a more traditional papaya orange base and is adorned with graphics depicting the Arctic, Amazon, desert and ocean Extreme E race locations. Very nice, very nice indeed. This week's episode of This Week with Will Buxton comes on location from the Jaguar factory with special access for the launch of its new 2022 Formula E car. Here's the man himself to tell you what's coming up on the show. Coming off the back of their most successful season yet in the FIA Formula E World Championship, uh, Jaguar, or the team now known as Jaguar TCS Racing, have launched their all-new car for season eight here today in Gaydon, Warwickshire in the United Kingdom. And uh, we at Motorsport TV uh, were really lucky to get an invitation to come down to the launch. We managed to speak to everybody here, including the drivers Sam Bird and Mitch Evans and team principal James. James Barkley. James, of course, reiterated the importance of this championship to Jaguar Land Rover as a whole with what they're learning on track in Formula E, having real time relevance in what they're putting onto the road as Jaguar pushes towards all electrification 
of their road going vehicles by 2026. Uh, the drivers themselves are massively enthused, of course, for the 2021 season, for season eight. Uh, Mitch Evans, who came within a whisker of the championship last year, and Sam Bird as a driver who's raced in this championship every year since it was launched and has won a race every year since it's launched. Uh, for all three, the objective for season eight is clear, and that is to win the championship before Gen 3 comes online in 2023. Um, you can, of course, hear from all of them in this week's episode of This Week with Will Buxton, which you can catch now on Motorsport TV. Crouching Tiger, Hidden Will. Former Moto2 rider Philip Ertl will step up to World Superbikes for next season with the Go 11 Ducati team replacing the retiring Chaz Davies. Ertl has raced in MotoGP support classes for a number of seasons, sealing his first Moto3 victory at Jerez towards the beginning of the 2018 campaign. After signing his two-year deal, Ertl said, I can't wait to start this experience on the big bike to learn as much as possible to start next season and to improve round by round. I'm happy to ride the Ducati. It's a great manual manufacturer and I really wanted this opportunity in Superbike, especially considering the successful past Ducati had. Go11 has enjoyed a strong run of results in recent races with Loris Baz scoring back-to-back -back podiums at Portimao last month as a replacement for the injured Davies. Well, don't go anywhere with lots more from the world of motorsport, including another twist in the NASCAR's latest driver feud. That's coming up here on Motorsport TV Live. FAA Formula 3 regular Clement Novelak will join MP Motorsports Formula 2 team for the final two rounds of the championship ahead of a full campaign with MP next year. The 20-year-old's graduation to F2 arrives after a consistent F3 campaign that netted four podium visits on his way to third in the standings for team's champions Trident. In order to acclimatise himself with F2 machinery before the 2022 season, the Frenchman will take over the seat previously held by Zandelli for visits to Saudi Arabia in early December and the Abu Dhabi season for the following week. Novelak is already eagerly anticipating his opportunity to step up to F2 with a team he hopes continu can continue his rise up the junior single-seater ladder. MP Motorsport boss Xander Dorsman added, We are very happy to welcome Clement into our F2 lineup for 2022 and are especially excited to give him his first runs in a Formula 2 car in the six 2021 races still coming up. Oit Tanak will miss the final round of the World Rally Championship because of a personal issue and will be replaced by Timu Sunanen. The Hyundai Motorsport driver made what he called a tough decision on social media that he was going to miss the final Monza round in two weeks' time. Tanak's season has been hampered by a host of mechanical issues and he currently sits fifth in the standings with just one win this season. Tanak wished the team luck in Italy, but his absence looks set to hurt their slim chances of overhauling Toyota's 47-point lead in the manufacturer's title race. And finally, NASCAR team owner Rick Hendrick defended his driver Alex Bowman after a feud with Denny Hamlin at Martinsville on Sunday. Hamlin will compete in the Championship 4 this weekend, but was angry with eventual Martinsville winner Bowman after he felt he ruined his own chances of winning. That led to an unusual confrontation between the pair as Bowman attempted his victory burnout. Well, before we hear from Hendrick, here's a reminder of what happened. How about that? And this is going to get interesting. Oh, oh, boy. Denny Hamlin not happy with the way Bowman raced him. It's like how I leave a car park. That led to Hamlin labelling Bowman as a hack after the race, but now his boss Rick Hendrick has given his support, suggesting if Bowman is a hack, then he wants more like him. 
Bowman may be out of contention for the NASCAR Cup Series title, but Hendrick commended the way his driver races. I think Denny just lost it Sunday. And, uh, you know, Alex races everybody clean. He's a good soldier. Uh, the sponsors love him. The people, the crowd loves him. Uh, you know, I, I, you know, I think in the, in, when you're in the, the middle of uh, a disappointment and you're frustrated and mad, you might say things that you wouldn't say normally. So, uh, but if he's a hack, I'd like to have more of them. There you go, Rick Hendrick, just there. Well, that's all for now. Head over to motorsport.com for more on all of today's top stories. I'm Bryn Lucas. Join us again here on Motorsport TV Live for all the latest from the world of motorsport. Bye for now.